Welcome to Snipisode 2 of the Daily Dose of DMC Podcast. Today is Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, and I am your host, HK. So, good morning to all of you on this lovely Tuesday morning, and this is the second podcast of this year for the daily dose of dmc dedication motivation and commitment together we're going to explore ways to make our brains positive and that's what today's topic is going to be i want to just talk about a positive mindset and kind of spur some thought with you guys yeah so what we're going to kind of do in today's uh, snip episode is i want to quickly just look at a brief introduction you know why i'm talking about positive mindset from there moving to like the benefits of what a positive mindset is how to cultivate the positive mindset, because I think that's really important. And then, of course, overcoming some challenges. Yeah, and then we'll kind of wrap it up for today's session. And I really just want to spur some thought. I mean, guys, this is really is not rocket science here. But like I said, it's just to spur some thought. Yeah, for I think the second or third time that I said that. So let's go ahead. By definition, what is a positive mindset? A positive mindset is the tendency to look at the world and one's own circumstances in a positive and hopeful way. I mean, that's, that's really simple and clear. Yeah, I think anybody with a little bit of common sense knows that. So basically, it's just having an optimistic outlook on life, focusing on the good things that you have, uh, have rather than dwelling on the negative. Yeah, I think um, a lot of us, uh, we tend to dwell in the negative. And oddly enough, uh, our brains are kind of wired to always uh, soak in the negative and focus on that more so than the positive. And you'll see that in you know news headlines when reading stories in the paper and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so why is it important to have a positive mindset? Why are we touching this? Well, I mean, it's it's clear. Yeah, having having a positive mindset um, allows you to have a number of benefits. Yeah, including physical, mental health. I personally believe that you have greater success in your personal and professional endeavors, yeah, with work colleagues, with family members, um, better relationships just generally speaking, yeah. And ultimately, I think what's really important when it comes to a positive mindset is you really get to build mental resilience. Yeah, and we'll touch on that. I'll, I'll give you a couple. I'll give an example just uh, um, afterwards. But, you know, it's the ability just to cope with the kind of the challenges and the setbacks life throws at you. And not to dwell in the negative, um, as we just learned from from the definition of that. Yeah, so let's take those three um, benefits and let's talk about that, for example, uh, for just for just a minute here. So first of all, improve physical health. Now, I know this is just me spewing out a bunch of words um, in an audio format, but what I want you guys to do, yeah, do your own little research, yeah, and then I'll definitely start, you know, putting these up on the on the blog as well with, with all the links and all that kind of stuff. But, so, first off, it's improved physical health. Studies have actually shown that people with a positive mindset tend to have overall, like overall, a better physical health. They're less likely to experience stress-related illnesses, yeah, so that includes anything from, from heart disease and so forth, all the way to having a better immune system just generally, yeah. Um, and if you guys remember the... Do you remember the the movie um, Patch Adams? Yeah, uh, kind of. Uh, if I recall correctly, actually based on a true story, and it was about a doctor who wanted to make kids laugh because he found out that you know when you laugh and even in you know in the circumstances of these children that that contributes to the positivity to recuperate faster. Yeah. There's been actually lots of studies that have shown that as well. And again, a study is a study. Always take it with a grain of salt. But still, nonetheless, overall, yeah, you have a stronger immune system. Um, you you can ex- you experience stress-related illnesses less likely. Uh, so first off, physical health. Second, mental resilience. A positive mindset, you know, helps you build mental resilience, and that's especially important also for children when they're growing up. Yeah, it's basically ability to bounce back from challenges, from any setbacks that you have in life, and then you know, having a positive outlook, so that you're able to to better cope with the difficult circumstances. Yeah, and still maintain a sense of perspective even in those moments. So let me give you a quick example on on mental resilience there. Um, it could be, for example, uh, you know, somebody who just lost their job, yeah, or if you're going through a difficult breakup, yeah. Instead of becoming discouraged and giving up, you kind of look at the situation with a positive mindset, and you simply look for ways to move forward, yeah. You take the opportunity, yeah, to reassess. Yeah, mental resi- resilience means when you sit down, you reflect, you take that opportunity, you re- reassess your goals, and 
what do, for somebody who's lost a job what do you do you look for a new job that you know you know maybe better aligns with your your values yeah or maybe you take the time to self improve yeah you focus on self improvement and personal growth as to take you to that next job yeah that's the kind of the process that you build and that's what mental resilience is about you know the ability to cope with those challenges and setbacks down the road yeah in the future and not just dwelling on them and just sitting there and saying oh man you know i lost my job or whatever whatever the circumstances may be it's about looking at it from a positive perspective yeah and then thirdly like i said the greater success in personal professional endeavors yeah a positive mindset just may you know allows you to have greater success in your personal relationships if you approach challenges and opportunities with you know a positive attitude um you know you're more likely to persevere like I said, whenever there is setbacks and you're more able to, to achieve your goals. And that also, I think, reflects, you know, to your relationships, both professionally and to your family, um, or your personal relationships, let's put it that way. Regardless of what the discussion or the situation or, you know, uh, whatever that may be, I think people that approach things with a positive attitude, you'll notice that. You know, people notice the difference between somebody who's always spewing out negativity versus somebody, you know, and complaining is one thing, don't get me wrong. But on the other side of that spectrum is, you know, somebody having a positive mindset. And you'll notice people like that, yeah? So let's let's move into point number three that I said in the introduction. So how do we cultivate that? Again, this is just very high level, guys. I want you guys to go into that and start, you know, digging in, doing your research. I just want to spur some thought in your own minds, yeah? How do you go about cultivating that? And number one, and this is what I mentioned yesterday, very, very big especially for me personally, also with with my wife and and, and our family, is practicing gratitude. One of the most effective ways you can cultivate a positive mindset is just to simply practice gratitude, yeah? And and, And this is really simple. This is just focusing on the things that you're thankful for, yeah? Um... In whatever circumstance and situation you may be, yeah, always remember that somebody else has it worse off, yeah? Actively seek out the things in your life that you are grateful for at this very moment. Whether, you know, it's in your job, it's in your relationship, having a roof over your head, food on the table, anything, yeah, that, that, that sparks that positive, um, yeah, thankfulness in you, yeah, this, this helps shift your focus away from negative thoughts and always reinforces the positivity yeah and i mean it sounds so simple but i think especially in today's day and age of tech and attention seeking that's a big problem secondly reframing your negative thoughts yeah and well i think throughout the course of this podcast we'll get we'll get into these things a little deeper yeah and we'll talk about individual aspects and you know kind of what i do and those things but secondly is reforming uh, reframing negative thoughts yeah another way to cultivate a positive mindset is just to practice reframing negative thoughts when you catch yourself thinking negatively try to look at the situation from a different perspective yeah for example if you're feeling overwhelmed at work uh, just remind yourself the challenges you're facing, yeah, that's, and that you're actually helping, you know, uh, you grow as a professional and acquiring new skills, yeah? So instead of saying, oh, man, you know, I have no idea how to do this, you know, figure it out. Whether it's, you know, uh, work chatting with a colleague, whether it's, you know, to doing some online course, there's always a way to figure that out. Yeah, it's reframing the negative thoughts into positive actions. And then, of course, lastly, another the third point here is surround yourself with positive influences. Yeah, cultivating a positive mindset. You've heard, you know, you are, um, you know, with the five people that you ha- kind of hang out with. And I think that ha- that that holds true um, very often because things will rub off to you. Even if you say, you know, I've been a person who said, oh, yeah, I'm not influenced by this, that or that. But still, it does. Yeah, you, you cultivate a positive mindset if you surround yourself with people who are actually positive influences. Yeah, whether it's friends or family who talk supportively or in an uplifting manner, yeah, or seeking out activities uh, that bring you joy and fulfillment. You know, I love going road biking. Yeah, I do it a lot on my own, but when I have the chance, I do it with friends um, or or with other groups. Yeah, you uh, connect with others, and then you know that just brings that joy and that fulfillment. Yeah, those positive influences. Okay, so uh, we're. We're actually, uh, we're almost at like the 10 minute mark. And so I want to kind of move on to the next point there. But those are the three things. Yeah. So how do you overcome challenges to maintaining a positive mindset? Yeah. Is what I, is what I have in my notes. First of all, dealing with negative people. Yeah. That goes back to surrounding yourself with positive influences from the previous point. One of the challenges to maintaining a positive mindset is to deal with negative people. Now, 
this can be this is this is easier said than done yeah it can be difficult to stay positive when you're surrounded by negativity negativity my apologies but there are steps yeah that you can do uh to shift away from that yeah so a couple things is just uh boundaries with negative people yeah finding ways to support them in a positive way or simply just limiting your exposure to them sometimes you're gonna have to break relationships in life and that's that's part of life it's a learning process even if it's hard yeah Secondly, coping with difficult circumstances. Yeah, it's hard to maintain a positive mindset in difficult circumstances. Yeah, whether it's a personal setback or global crisis, like we've seen the past two years, it's, it can be hard to stay positive. Yeah, even when things are tough. In these situations, kind of what what I what I tell people is make sure you to take care of yourself. Yeah, it's not about being selfish, but take care of yourself. Find ways to maintain that sense of. Uh, hope and perspective um, and and moving forward regardless of what's going on around you or what you see in the news or you know on the tv turn it off yeah that's my my tip but anyways so that's the second point yeah and the role of self-care i just want is is so important in this aspect yeah like i said it's not about being selfish it's maintaining a positive outlook yeah go exercise make sure you get enough sleep engage in activities that really bring you joy yeah um because they boost your mood yeah they give you energy and it's part of that mental resilience yeah you need to stay positive and it helps develop that positive attitude so we've gone over our 10 minute allotment for today but just to conclude on that yeah i want to recap the benefits of why why we need a positive mindset so in summary yeah there's a number of benefits we know from physical and mental health yeah, you typically have greater success in both your personal and professional endeavors, and you have better relationships with others. Yeah, helps build mental resilience, and just gives you a better outlook on life. Like I say, guys, this is not rocket science. But think about these things. Think about those things that I just that I just mentioned. Yeah, and in your personal life. So not just the benefits. You know, we we understand that. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's good. But. Think about how you can cultivate a positive mindset. How do you overcome challenges in maintaining a positive mindset? What's important to you? Think about that a little bit um, for today, and we will see each other tomorrow. That being said, guys, stay dedicated, stay motivated, committed all day, every day.